Let's have a drink. <laughs> Answer me a question. Don't think about it. Just say the first thing that comes into your head. No cognition. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Who's your favorite painter? Jackson Pollock. Oh. Sorry. No, 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 no. Let me do it no, again. No, forget it. Come on. No, no, it's silly. Come on. Ask me again. Who's your favorite painter? Picasso. Pollock. It's always Pollock. Oh, don't get me wrong. He was a great painter. We came up together. I knew him very well. What was he like? You read Nietzsche? What? You ever read Nietzsche, Birth of Tragedy? No. And you call yourself an artist? One can't discuss Pollock without it. One can't discuss anything without it. What do they teach you in art school now? I you read I, Freud? No. Jung? Well, Byron? Wordsworth? Aeschylus? Turgenev? Sophocles? Schopenhauer? Shakespeare? Hamlet. Oh, please, God. At least Hamlet. Quote me Hamlet right now. To be or not to be, that is the question. Is that the question? I don't know. <laughs> You've got a lot to learn, young man. Philosophy, theology, literature, poetry, drama, history, archaeology, anthropology, mythology, music. Come on. These are your tools as much as brush and pigment. You cannot be an artist until you are civilized. You cannot be civilized until you learn. To be civilized is to know where you belong in the continuum of your art and your world. To surmount the past, you must know the past. I thought you weren't my teacher. Oh, and you should be so blessed I talk to you about art. <laughs> How do you feel? How do I feel? How do they make you feel? 